there are a number of polymer products that we can have our students make that are, that are kind of fun to play around with. There's some chemistry involved, but there's also just some, some good, f plain fun to deal with. We try to muck them up sometimes by giving them a few things to, to do with the, pro the products. But uh, one of the simplest, cheapest, and easiest to make with almost any level of student is to make a uh, silly putty type material. I've got some that I've made here on the tabletop, and you can see that it stretches. It'll break at some point. This one's a little bit older, and I'm going to make some fresh in a minute. But you can stretch it out. You can stretch it out, and it breaks. It'll do that. It'll flow, and it'll do lots of other things. So we're going to make some of this fresh now and take a look at it. So I'll bring back the beaker I've shot across the tabletop. And I'm going to add a little bit of white glue. You can get this in a number of different locations. Um, and pour that in. Now, I actually have watered this down slightly. I've probably put about uh, one-third water, two-thirds white glue. The white glue contains polyvinyl alcohol. The polyvinyl alcohol is really the product in here that's doing the polymerization. Polyvinyl alcohol requires some sort of cross-linking agent. The common cross-linking agent is sodium borate, and it's actually the borate ion that does the cross-linking that pulls the polyvinyl alcohol molecules together. So I'm going to dump into this beaker a little bit of sodium borate. I'm measuring it out very carefully. Stir it around. You can probably see that I'm starting to get a nice gloppy looking material. It's not pink this time because I didn't put any food coloring in it. You can make it whatever color you want. Give your students, you know, let them play around with it and it'll all be brown. Um, or they can actually read the instructions and make purple or whatever color they want to make. After I've stirred it for a little while, I'm really stuck with only one alternative to go down inside, grab it, bring it out, mush it around a little bit. Make some great sounds. Just sounds kind of fun. Kids will love that part of it. Once they've played with it a little bit, and it, again, it does get in your clothing. Um, it will stick on your fingers. It's not bad to have glasses. It's not dangerous, or gloves, I mean. It's not dangerous in any way, but um, if they've got some kind of glove or something like that, it's easier to keep it off their fingers. But now you can see that I've produced a product that sticks together. It's a little bit like silly putty. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to take this over and rinse it off real quick in the sink just to get the, the worst of the slop off it. Quickly clean the tabletop off. Bring this back and set it on the tabletop. See it flattens out. I'm just going to let it sit here for a second. Okay, let's see what it does there. You see it starts to flatten out. It will eventually flow across the tabletop. If your students stick it in their pocket and take it home, it will in fact start flowing out of the pores in the clothing in their pants eventually. Um, and it does kind of, it does make its way across. We can spread it out, flatten it out this way. We can see it stretch. This is and it reaches one point where you can stretch it up to a point, and then you'll notice that it snaps. That's actually a kind of a, an experiment your students can do. They can take it and stretch it and stretch it and stretch it and stretch it, and they'll find a point where it rips. Another thing that's kind of fun to do with it and make it a little bit more quantitative is to have them get a, a flat layer of this thing and see how much weight they can put on it and watch the weight sink it down and push it through and measure the distance that it falls. Or you can actually, with that kind of thing, time it. What I've got over here, we called it the putty pole. A uh, teacher in Nebraska, I think, was the first one I ever saw this do this, a guy named Ed Brogy. And Ed had his students put the silly putty, slime, glop, goop, whatever you want to call it, material in funnels. And then he'd have them time how long it took for this stuff to fall out of a full funnel. Another interesting thing to do with that would be to change your ratios of borax, water, and glue and see if it changes the 
consistency of the product. And one way you could check that consistency is to see how long it took a measured quantity to run out of the funnel. Um, this is a great time killer with your students. You know, you give them a big funnel and a lot of this stuff, it could take weeks for them to finish the lab. <laughs> If it's February and you've finished the book and you're looking for something to finish up with, this is also a neat one because I always thought, you know, because there's all these great educational terms like longitudinal studies. This just really lends itself to a longitudinal study in so many different ways. Um, so anyhow, you can do that. We can put this back in and when you do, finding out other properties. I could put two different colors in, eventually it'll come out with two different colors as it slides down. Um, it does, one other thing you can look at it and do, it does bounce, not as well as some of the other polymer products, but it will bounce a little bit. The difference between this and some of the ones that bounce really well, what can you tell about this one as far as shape? Does it hold its shape very well? No, so the polymer product that we're working with here has very little memory. It doesn't remember the shape it was in. The, the strands don't go back to where they were originally, so when you pull this thing apart, they don't bounce back. And so you can pull this out, stretch it out, and stretch it out some more, but they won't go back to their original shape very easily, and that's why it ruptures. This one, of course, now is going to start falling over the side. Uh, it's not too bad to clean out of plastic things either. You can pull this out and it comes out in the shape of the funnel. Just kind of neat. Let's see if we can get two tones coming out of here fairly fast. We'll get multicolor. Look like some of the old toothpastes. Now, well, I kind of like that. It's sort of a parfait. It'll take a little while. Anyhow, that's a polyvinyl alcohol slime product with a cross-linker, sodium borate, white glue. Pretty safe thing, nice thing to play with with your students, and a slightly different polymer product. Thank you.